Hi again. I'd like to continue the discussion about the uh, the table view. Okay. So uh, my uh, my project here is to make a simple to do app. This is sort of the hello world of iOS apps, and um, I'm going to go over this through a series of videos and. Um, <clears throat> you know, it'll, it'll take us a little while, but we'll work through the whole thing. And, but the real goal here is to kind of study the table view and understand how the table view works. Okay? So here I am in Xcode, and I'm going to begin by creating a, a new Xcode project. So I'll click there, and I'll start with the single view application. Okay? And so I'm in iOS application single view. And um, let's call this table view number two. And uh, I'll go to Storyboard. And in the last video, I talked about using the static table view. Okay, so using static cells. In this one, what we're going to do is we're going to just use the regular um, UI table view, and it's going to use dynamic cells. So the content of the cells is going to be generated by the program. Okay, so you know this is where we're going to get our content from from some you know data in the program and fill in the cells that way okay so I'm just using the regular view controller here and I'll go down the list here and there is a UI table view element so when I click on this you can see it says you know uh, any moment now yeah there we go right UI table view so I'm gonna grab this and drag it and put it into the view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to the view so it, you know, snaps with its edges on all the four sides. Okay? And the table view is a software element like the button or the stepper or any of these other ones, right? You know, any uh, any of the other UI elements. And, um, you know, it, it does stuff in software and then it needs to collaborate with our other, you know, software that we write. So, you know, when I write code in the UI view controller, or, the, or I should say the view controller Swift file here, um, you know, this table view wants to communicate with that. So we need to set up a couple, a couple connections here. So since we created this in storyboard, and we're not creating it in code, we need to um, create connections between the storyboard element and our, you know, our view controller code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key and then click on the table view. And that will open up a little menu here. And the menu, it's a little hard to read. The text is very small, but uh, this first one right here, it's got outlets. So this table view already has some preset outlets that we can connect to things, right? And the first one is called the data source, and the, the second one is the delegate, okay? So the data source says where the table view will get its data from. Okay, so this data source is saying, you know, where will I get the data that will be populating the table view cells that I'm going to display or the rows that I'm going to display. Okay, so it needs someone to supply that data. Okay, and essentially it's going to ask for two things. Okay, it's going to ask for how many rows in sections. This is actually a function called number of rows in section. Okay, so it's going to say, hey, data source, how many rows in the, in the table view, right? It's going to call the number of rows in section, and number of rows in section needs to return the count of rows, okay? So that way when you're scrolling, it'll know how many cells to display. The second, um, the second thing that, that the data source is going to supply is the cell for row at index path. So every time the data, the, the, I mean the table view wants to display data, right, it's going to, you know, ask for a cell that's pre-populated with data. Okay, and then it's going to display that cell. Okay, and the way the table view works is, you know, if you imagine like your iTunes library and you have, you know, 10,000 songs in there, you know, this, the computer couldn't generate 10,000 um, table view cells. Okay, it would just take up too much memory. Okay, so what the computer does is it just generates enough cells to fill the screen, and when one cell goes off the bottom, that cell gets brought back up to the top and then reused, okay, and re, you know, just the data, just the text labels are changed to show the new, the new information, 
okay? So every time a cell goes off the bottom, like if you're scrolling down like this, then that cell gets replaced at the top, okay? And so that's going to be part of cell for row at index path. So what we need to do is we need to say that this table view is connected to, you know, a data source and a delegate. The delegate is a little different. Data source is the number of cells and cell for row at index path. The delegate is for actions on the table view. So when you tap a cell, um, that's did select row at index path. Or if you want to know which cell is selected, um, you know, the delegate can tell you that, okay? Or if, so if anything happens with the, ta with the table view, um, you know, it tells, you know, any interaction that happens with it is going to go to the delegate, okay? And we can use, you know, the same, the same element can be the delegate and the data source both, or they could be different. That's why they're two separate um, things. So, you know, that was kind of a long story, but how do we connect them? I'm going to go to data source here, and I'll just grab this little plus sign, and I'll drag it up to the view controller. So this yellow little circle here represents the view controller class that we've assigned to this view controller, right? So I'll grab this one, and I'll drag it up there too. And there we go. And I can see now that view controller is assigned here. And if you, you know, if you did something like, actually, well, let me do it twice, but sometimes you'll see that there'll be two of these things here on the list. And if that happens, you might have a problem. Like that can happen in Storyboard and it's not obvious. So you can always click on this little X button right here and that'll delete a connection. So, you know, I deleted those. Maybe I'll, I'll put them back in now. Okay. So just so you know, so if something gets misconnected, you can always open up this, this box. And again, you do that with the control key. So just control click on an element and it'll show you the connections for that. You can view the connections over here too on the connection inspector. So when I click on this, you can see it shows me the connections for the table view. And when I, you know, when I hover over them, you can see the table view is highlighted. Okay. So anyway, so there's our table view and it's connected, right? And why don't we add a cell here? So I'm going to grab a table view cell. And I'll drop it into the table view. So that's, you know, UI table view cell here, right? UI table view cell. And I drop my cell in there. And like I said, when we use the um, cell for row at index path, the, um, the, the cells are going to be, you know, um, recycled, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to give our cell an identifier name. Okay, and the identifier says like, hey, you know, when we need a cell, you know, let's ask for a cell with this particular name. And that lets us identify a cell of a particular type. And, you know, that way we can, you know, if we have different types of cells to display and we want to use, you know, different configurations for different cells, then we can give them different identifiers and we can ask for the cell that, we're, that we want, right? So um, for this, it really doesn't matter too much, but we're just, we'll just need an identifier name or a reuse identifier, okay? So um, we'll just have this one cell right here. So I'll click on the cell. So make sure it says UI or it says table view cell at the top. And then for identifier here, see where it says identifier, we're going to type in cell. And I, I type that all lowercase, just C-E-L-L, -L, okay? And that'll be the name. And then we're going to use that name later in, um, in our code, okay? So I'll save this. And let's go to our UI or our, our view controller Swift file here, which is type UI view controller, right? And uh, let's make some um, some information here so or let's add some code and then we'll make some information to display in our table view okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to declare this class as um, or we need to say that this class is going to adopt the protocol for the table view okay so right now it has a super class of UI view controller so I'm going to add a comma here, and I'm going to type in UI table view. I don't know why my um, my code hints aren't working today, but I think what I want is I want UI table view delegate and UI table view data. source okay so those are the two that we need UI table view delegate and UI table view data source okay and so what this says is we it says that this 
um, view controller adopts the protocols for you know UI table view delegate and UI table view data source okay and that's going to give me an error because you know these these protocols are saying that hey we're going to implement methods that are defined in the UI table view delegate protocol and the UI table view data source protocol okay and when I click on the error it's going to say hey this does not conform to the protocol right so what we need to do now is we need to include the methods for those protocols so you know just to keep organized I'm going to say mark here right and then I'll say um, table view delegate methods right and that'll just remind us that this area is you know is where we, we put the table view delegate methods right so what we need to do is we need to say table view and I'm going to start typing table view here and then I'm going to stop and you'll see a list of all the table view methods here and what I want to do is I want to find the method called number of rows in section okay which is this one right here number of rows in section so it's actually table view number of rows in section okay and so I'll hit return and then let's just return zero for now and then the next method that I need to implement is called table view cell for row at index path so I'll do the same thing I did the first time is I'll, I'll start typing table view and then I'll scroll on the menu until I find cell for row at index path okay so here's cell for row at index path okay and if we look at the methods here let me get rid of that sidebar there you'll see that this one returns an integer right that's the return type there okay so it has to return an in integer and the int is the number of rows so it's going to be like five rows or six rows or zero rows right and this one right here cell for row at index path is going to return a table view cell a UI table view cell okay so this can be um, the built-in UI table view cell or it can be a custom table view cell that inherits from UI table view cell right so uh, so here's you know self row at index path so what we're gonna do here is let's let's write this one first this is the more complicated of the two so the first thing we want to do is we want to make a table view cell so I'm gonna start with let and I'm gonna say let cell equal table view dot DQ and I'm gonna you know this one's pretty easy to misspell right so I'm gonna just start typing DEQ and then when I see DQ reusable cell with identifier and I want this one right here that says identifier string okay so I'll choose that one and then in the identifier string we're gonna type the word cell and this is the the identifier that we defined in storyboard a moment ago okay so that's the identifier for the cell that we want you know and this says DQ so that kinda means like hey you know if there's a cell that's that we've used but it's not currently on the screen let's you know let's use it now right let's reuse it okay and if it has this I this identifier then that's the exact kind that we want okay so this is a little weird because this is going to DQ a cell right but we don't know that it's a UI table view cell so we'll need to put as UI table view cell on the end here okay and then and then that first warning is going to go away so I still have an error here because this has to return the cell so what we'll do is we'll say return cell okay and that should get rid of all of our errors okay so right now our, our table view has zero zero rows and then it returns an empty cell right so that doesn't really do us any good so why don't we put um, you know five here for the number of cells to return or the number of rows and then for the cell here why don't we just say cell and so the table view cell is that you know remember I showed you the basic the right detail and all those it's this UI table view cell is that type of cell right and so we can say dot you know to access its properties and its properties include the UI labels and other things that are inside the cell so I'm gonna type in um, cell dot 
text label, right? Dot text. And the text label is the basic label, okay? So I'll set this to, you know, something like hello world. And then there are, we have some cells. So we got five cells and they'll all say hello world, right? Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, right? I don't know why they do this, but um, I've noticed that when you have an empty table view, it still shows the row divider. Okay, so the divider here shows up anyway. So realize that that's going to happen even if you have zero cells, right? Because you can see I have these down here. And if you had zero cells, these would still show up. Um, you'll notice that my table view doesn't go to the edge of the view controller because this is the size that I set in, in storyboard, but I didn't add any constraints, right? So, you know, to get the, uh, the table view to, um, to go to the edges, what I'll need to do is click on the table view so I've got the table view selected and you can check it here right there's table view and if I go to this little button here the one with the triangle it says resolve auto layout issues if I click on that and I say add missing constraints then it should add the constraints required to um, to get the table view to sit correctly that works best if you've taken an object and aligned it to those blue Line. So when I dragged this out originally, like I kind of aligned it so the, the edges matched up with the little blue dotted lines on the edge of the, the view controller, right? So um, let's test it again. And there you go. Now my table view goes all the way to the edges of the view controller. Okay, and this like is running into the top edge here, and that's okay. Um, later, when we do this app, I'm going to add. Um, we'll, we'll we'll fix that. I'm going to add a. A navigation controller and so that'll push the whole thing down so I'm not worried about that right now okay well thanks for watching and we'll continue in the next video